I believe that there's a lot of value in surrounding yourself with beautiful handmade goods. Uh, a lot of what we spend time with today is isolating technology and the warmth of handmade goods, things that are made by other human beings. I think that human spirit is imbued in the things that they make and surrounding yourself by those things is really wonderful. My name's Adam Godet. I'm a custom furniture maker here in DC. Uh, I live in Capitol Hill. I'm really inspired by the medium. Uh, I love wood, I like the way it looks, I like the way it feels. It's a sort of forgiving material in that uh, you can blend it and shape it in various ways and I love the tools and I love the finished piece. I was inspired to be a woodworker I think from a really early age. So there was a show on public TV with this guy Norm Abram. I, I just loved watching it come together. I loved watching, you know, cutting joineries like cutting your own puzzle pieces and then putting the puzzle pieces together. I loved the tools, I loved the material, just that half hour on Saturdays or whatever it was. What keeps me coming back to it though is it's just, it's never not challenging. On any given day, you know, the wood may not do what you expect it to do. It may have a life of its own. Uh, the tool may not work properly. There's constant problem solving. And uh, some days that's exhausting, but it's never boring. And so it's always challenging. And you know, I've just really fallen in love with the medium of wood and, uh, and really everything about it. Wood comes in, in all kinds of colors, just sort of naturally from Mother Nature. When I'm working with a customer, we're talking about wood choice. Um, often I'll just start with, you know, do you like light or dark tones? Or something in the mid range. And so if, if you're looking for a light tone, I'll often start with maple. If they want a darker color, we're probably gonna talk about uh, sapile here, which is this, this uh, reddish brown or maybe a walnut. Um, and then mid-tone, my favorite go-to wood is cherry. So this is uh, one of the most popular things I've, I've made. I did a line of retail goods for a while. Uh, it's currently on pause, but this is a uh, DC flag, cutting board or cheese board. A lot of folks use them as kind of serving boards. But I made this, you know, out of some DC pride and just interest in sort of uh, promoting localism. This is cherry and walnut is the combination here. And so I understand this actually belongs to someone on the staff here, which is cool. Uh, I think it might be helpful too to talk about just caring for your uh, cutting boards. The care for them is really pretty simple. Uh, you never want to put them in a dishwasher. That's sort of imminent death for a cutting board. All you need for basic care on a cutting board is uh, mineral oil. Sometimes it's sold as butcher block oil, but uh, usually a combination of oil and wax in there. And so it can separate over time. So you give it a little shake and just a small amount, maybe like a quarter or half dollar size is good. And you're gonna just sort of rub that in there, just like you would, you know, sunscreen or, or anything like that. And you can immediately see the color change here. And I'm just gonna use the remaining oil from that side to start over here and just wrap it around. You really don't need that much. A container this size will last most people several years. And that's it. And then you're gonna wanna let that sit on there for a little while. Paper towels work really well, uh, t-shirt rag, anything. Get the excess off of there and let that sit out 12 to 24 hours and put it back into use. Mm -hmm.